And we go to dances. We had our social life too. We had uh, there's always dances at the school, and there's a uh, one family that were very musical. They play uh, guitar and uh, violin and uh, accordion and that. And uh, boy, they used to have some good dances. And, and my mother and father were always great for dancing. They used to do it when they were younger, you know. And, and so uh, there's all the old, the old reels and things like that. Nothing like you do today. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. And everybody went and took some goodies or something, cookies or something. And uh, they had coffee and that. And the kids Kids would play games, and they all went. They didn't didn't leave anybody at home. You get in your for a wagon in the old days, all climb in the wagon and go to the school. Or sometimes they had it at the the town hall we had, uh, district hall, and uh, we used to go over there. It was on the lake. It was very nice there, and uh, and people from all over would come, and you get to see everybody, and you know, it was great. My mother belonged to the, uh, they had the, th for the women there, they called it the Women's Institute <laughs> on the farm. And uh, they used to get in touch with each other and, uh, and you know, have a sewing bee or something. And, and then they'd, uh, they'd sell them off around the district, have a big, big meeting or a big festival or something and sell them off. <laughs> so there was always lots to do. Plenty to do, do, and besides your farm work and that, you know. So, and I, I we were lucky. I had neighbors, and they had uh, three, four children, I think, and so we had plenty to, you know. We went to school with them, and uh, they were good friends. We'd play together. So. Do you remember any of the games they used to play? Well, uh, I can't remember in the inside games now. I've forgotten what we did then. Uh, but we uh, we always played at school. We had played ball. We used to call it um, anti eye over, <laughs> and one group would get on one side and one on the other. Usually the boys against the girls, and you had to throw it over the roof, which was fairly high, and they had to catch it on the other side. When they did, they would run around, and, and we'd sort of whoever got the ball. <laughs> but anyway, I can't remember. But, but that's one thing we used to do, and we were usually too busy. We never uh, stayed in around the school very long because uh, we had to uh, get home. Get home. We had to walk home, and those that were further away, of course, rode horses, uh, or else they had a buggy of some kind, and uh, they'd bring a horse or beg a buggy if there was, you know, a number of them, and. Uh, but uh, we were lucky we didn't need to do that. We, had, we were able to walk home, so that was good. We used to go out and play in the woods, and you know, the old trick you find a long stick with a piece on it, and you get a string and you put it around it, and that was your horse. And we used to go riding horses. <laughs> we used to play over there too at the creek, go over and make. You know, you get an old can and you'd make pies and things out of it, and we'd have put up a bench and put all these on there. And then we'd play store. They were selling things. <laughs> we did all kinds of things we liked to do. We'd go fishing with a pole and a, and a, a safety pin, and we'd look for worms and things to put on it. And we'd go to the. There wasn't much in the creek. But we used to try and find some anyway, and uh, there was a pond or two here and there. We did get some little tiny ones. Probably took them home for Mom to cook. <laughs> Do you have a radio? It, uh, oh, that was something, yeah. No, not when we first got there. My father was fascinated with radios. He'd heard about them and everything, and he figured he could make one. It was the old crystal, they called it. It was a crystal. I don't know how it worked or anything, but he heard, he figured it out. Of course, I guess his mechanical <laughs> knowledge helped that way. But he did. He put it together. He got all the pieces and parts that he he figured he needed, and uh, and I think maybe he got some information on how to make it too somewhere. But he he did. He put it all together, and it was just a little box, like you know. And he put it up on a shelf in the corner. And heavens above, we got uh, music on it, and uh, and you could hear people talking, and everything. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> that was our first radio. Do you remember any of the music that was on the radio, or oh, any gosh, of the programs? Oh, those times, 
there was a Amos and Andy for one thing. That was uh, Amos was the the uh, white guy, and then Andy was the, the black man, <laughs> and they were really funny. And uh, we used to listen to them. And I can't think of any others right now. But there's a lot of good ones on that we used to listen to all the time. Did your family have a car? Well, we did after a while. In the first few years, uh, we just we didn't because uh, we didn't have, we had the wagon, but uh, there weren't many cars coming out at that time. It was when they were first starting. That would be in the late twenties, you know, thirty, early thirties. And uh, so finally, but my dad, he when they did come out, he just couldn't wait to to get to get one of course so we got this model for it and this was terrific and I can remember it had didn't have glass windows it had the old canvas things you snapped mm. on you know? <laughs> and you only know, did that when it was raining or something you know that car was was great that and then he tried he, when I got a little older he wanted me to try and drive it so <laughs> and uh, he got me uh, sitting on his lap to start with and then trying to show me what to do and everything and I don't know, I couldn't pick it up at all. All I wanted to, I thought, gee, I'd like to do this, you know. <laughs> but uh, never did. But my brother sure picked it up fast anyway. So, and then later on, when we went down, came down to the island, uh, the final trip down, we had a, a Durant, they called it. It was a sedan. It was more quite roomy in that, you know, but it was a good car. And. Uh, it was more posh. It had real upholstered seats and everything. <laughs> but the old Ford was quite a car. <laughs> we used to often get stuck. We we go to a, a, a party or a dance somewhere, and we so some of the side roads was just dirt, you know. There was no maybe some gravel, and maybe not, and and always lots of potholes and things. And so we quite often go and we get stuck in the mud. <laughs> Other guy people would come along and they'd all help to push and get us out. And then there'd be somebody else stuck and we'd have to stop them out. <laughs> oh gosh, nature had some great times.